You are watching the Dog Talk Show. Welcome back. We are discussing hepatitis B. And just before we went for the break, we uh, learned more about uh, the role of vaccination in children. Children who are born to mothers who are hepatitis B positive have the highest risk of getting chronic hepatitis B. What about the adults, the people who are not younger than the one-year-olds who receive the vaccination? How can they, do they, can they still access this vaccine to prevent themselves from getting hepatitis B? Yes, Darius, as I, as I said, when, mm. when the country realized that there is a very high prevalence of occurrence of patients mm. or people, the population with hepatitis B, the, the government of Uganda came up and I think this is, 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 is very historical mm. that the government came up to support unilaterally the activity of vaccinating adolescents and adults against hepatitis B. And I think that that started in the year 2015 mm. when the Ministry of Health presented that we need to vaccinate the population which are already at risk. And as you said very well that the, the prevalence of hepatitis B is more in the northern part of the country mm. than in the south, it is northern and eastern. Mm. So when we presented this to, to, to parliament, and the parliament was also good, the government gave us money for one, procuring of vaccines, two, for testing the population so that we need to know are you positive or you are negative. If you are positive, what should be done? If you are negative, what should we do? So we went and started the vaccination of the people from the age of 14. Because we imagine that from 2002 up to 2015, the age of 14 and below, they had already been vaccinated. But people who are older than that, they did not receive those vaccines when they were still young. So we started, do, we started testing the population of the age of 14. And if you are negative, then we give you the vaccine. And the government procured hepatitis B vaccine for vaccination of people older than 14 years in the whole country. But because the money was not enough, we, we started from the northern, we came to mid northern Uganda, middle north, we came to eastern and Karamoja region. So okay. we, we started vaccination in that area. You test the population, you, you vaccinate those who are negative, and then the people who are positive were being registered for another, another, uh, another services. Mm. So we, we have been doing vaccination from West Nile, Acholi, Lango, Tesu, and Moroto, and that was the first phase. Okay. After that, we came to the second phase, where we came to the Busoga region. All about 13, 12 districts in Busoga region we started in the, the last, the, the financial year 17, 18. And in the financial year 18, 19, we started in Mbale region going up to Kapchora. So we have been doing, testing the population, giving them free vaccine for people who are at the age of 14 and above. And as we move, the age also continues mm. because these are the people who did not get the, the vaccine when they were still young. The, the, the infant vaccine. Okay. So that's what we have been doing and we are continuing in a phased manner. Mm. We also picked on some five districts in the central region, like Bovuma, uh, Butambala, uh, Nakasongola, Mubende, and Masindi. About five districts in central region. So we are also doing it so that we cover the country uh, within a short period of time. Okay, yes. and it's a very good initiative by the government to protect the people from getting this infection. That is true. Yes, and we know vaccination is a very cost-effective way of fighting the infection. Once yes. people are vaccinated, they develop their immunity against the infection. It means <coughs> later they cannot acquire this infection. They are protected from it. So the they will thing, not get the complications. Yes, and the good yes. thing, hepatitis B can be prevented by the mm. vaccination. Mm. If you are negative, you are vaccinated, you will not be infected again. Mm. Uh, so that, that is a good thing with it, and it is cost-effective, as you said. Mm. If you prevent a disease, it will take you less money than curing the disease using treatment. Mm. Yeah. So 
for the people who are who turn out positive what happens to them now yeah that's what i was saying that mm. one we have to realize that you can ask why have we started only from this areas or this region mm. one we started because those region were having a high prevalence mm. two the money for this activity came purely from government of uganda there is no any donor which put money for the hepatitis b infection that's why you say we need to really to thank government mm. for doing this coming out and giving this money on a yearly basis that we need to get money for testing buying the test kits and then buying the vaccine so that is why we we control we say we are going to do it in a phased manner because we don't have enough money mm. if there were donors who could give us money we say okay today we are going to cover the whole country so we have been doing that mm. then the third one going to your question which you have the treatment mm. at the beginning when we started there are a lot of things that we need we needed to do mm. we needed to produce uh, documents how do you treat the vaccine the, the hepatitis how do you train the people to do the the treatment so that is what delayed us but now we are ready we have started the training on how we can open hepatitis clinics where people can come mm -hmm. those who are positive they present to us and hepatitis is a bit tricky it's not that everybody who is positive must get treatment it's mm -hmm. not like hiv mm -hmm. so when the people who are positive they come to us or when you are tested positive there are so many other tests which you need to undergo, which I don't want to discuss it on TV now. Mm -hmm. There are so many tests that they need to undergo mm -hmm. before you can be enrolled on treatment. Mm -hmm. So that's what has delayed us. One, because those tests can only be done in specific areas. So now, as I talk, we have already opened hepatitis clinics in most of the regional referral hospital. Okay. Two, especially where we have been working and even areas where we have not been working. Two, we have already got a mechanism in which whether the, 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 the laboratory for testing this hepatitis B for treatment is not there. There's a way we can transport that sample up to the Central Public Health Laboratory in Butabika. And the test and the results are taken back. And these people can be initiated on treatment. The other thing is the treatment, especially for the adult, the adult treatment for hepatitis B, the medicine is being produced within the country from the quality chemicals. Okay. And they produce, they send it to national medical store, and they distribute it to the centers where we can. We can to the can, regional To the regional hospitals, hospitals, hospitals and the hepatitis B clinics. Okay. So they can receive. Is this treatment free of charge or it will be paid for? No, by the, patients? the treatment, even the tests. Mm. The tests for screening and doing further tests to enroll somebody positive on treatment is completely free of charge. Completely free and of the, charge. And the, the drug which we are using now is the tenofovir. It's also mm. free of charge. Mm. We don't charge, except that what we need to notice. The drug we give is not a cure. Mm. Just like the drug we give for HIV is not a cure. So that once you start on the drug for hepatitis B, it's a lifelong treatment. So you should be enrolled on it, and you get one capsule per day for the whole of your lifetime. Okay. So unless you're advised by the doctor, mm. there, are, there are options where, I don't want to discuss on TV, but mm. there are options that the doctor can give you once you have started on treatment. Because they will keep monitoring mm. your, the, the stage of your infection. The, 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 the viral load, the presence of the virus in the body, that can be discussed by mm. the doctor who is managing. By the team of the doctors. Yeah, the team of doctors. Mm. Because they are supposed to be monitored very frequently, regularly as they get the treatment mm. for hepatitis B. After the break, we shall come back to discuss more, a few concluding details regarding hepatitis B, its prevention and uh, the role of the government in the fight against hepatitis B. Don't go away. You are watching the Dog Talk Show.